I am right here at Namdi Azikwe International Airport in Abuja, Nigeria. And I'm here to visit the largest church auditorium in the world, the 100,000 seaters Dunamis Gospel Center of Dr. Pastor Paul Ellinger. Hello guys, this is Dr. Awa, your favorite travel vlogger. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel at Travel with Dr. Awa. Today I'll be sharing with you guys my awesome experience inside the largest church auditorium in the world. Wow, the 100,000 seater capacity church. Please join me as we visit Dunamis! <laughs> So our uh, decent dressing is highly encouraged here. Highly, so if you're highly, highly, highly encouraged. So like we show you over there, you know, you want to wear a very decent dress, you're coming to very, church. Very
www.ascensiontracks.com This is a good last gift. You know, this is we are five gifts in the glory gift, praise gift, the goodness gift. Power. The power gate and uh, what other gate? We have five gates. We have glory gate. We have goodness gate. We have grace gate. We have power gate. We have praise gate. We have from our goodness gate, praise gate, power gate, glory gate, and this one other gate. <laughs> goodness gate. Goodness gate. So we have five gates. So each, each gate is supposed to serve as an entrance into the facility. But there's one gate that, that you, when you come into the church, you have to enter through, which is the goodness gate. Right? So the, today, top, the glory today, gate. Today is healing and deliverance. As you can see, people, people are coming with diverse affliction. As you can see over there, that lady is not feeling well. So, and by the special grace of God, today she will receive her healing. Let's watch and see. So this morning we have the healings and deliverance service going on and um, people are already coming in. I guess it starts at about 9.30 every Tuesday. So people are already heading there. So we made it 360 degrees uh, around the building. Like we've literally gone around the building. That's where we started, which is uh, the glory gate. So that's uh, where we started. So we're almost done going around the building. Hello, guys. I'm right here at Dunamis Gospel Center, Airport Road, Abuja, Nigeria. Amazing structure. Look at the building. Look at how big it is. It's a 100,000 seater capacity church. Look at this other thing. Wow. It's amazing. Oh my God. Um, I'm having a nice time over here. I hope you can just get time to visit it when you come to Abuja and you will, you will enjoy your experience. So I'm still right here in Abuja Airport Road. This is the Lost Garden. Look at how beautiful it is. Right over there is the glory. 100,000 capacity church. Are you seeing all the way right to the left? It's a 100,000 seater capacity. And over there is a, is a Destiny Christian Academy. That is a school. It's a boarding and a day school. I think it's, uh, it should be secondary and high, um, top notch. And um, there's top security in here. Everywhere is beautiful. Look at the roads leading to the church. I mean, like, everywhere is super nice. You are friendly, professional, nice. I love this place. I am having the best moment of my life. In fact, I, I, I encourage everybody, pay a pilgrimage here. Come more often. Come and have a nice time. Come and be blessed. The teachings have been awesome. I mean, I'm having the moment of my life. I encourage everybody to come in here. Facility is known as the Lord's Garden. 
building is actually a very massive structure, 100,000 seat capacity church. Glory to the building is standing without a pillar. Wow. And we have five good gates here wow. at the glory, I mean at the glory. The sanctuary is at the First we have to And here also we have first and second gallery. So we only have what is holding it is, is what we call beams. First and second The foundation goes up to 12 meters down. The foundation is 12 meters down. There. down there. They have 60 beams. And each beam one trailer. One of trailer. That's about 400 bags of cement. About 400 bags of cement. Yes. This is amazing. This is a work of God. This is a work of God. And from goodness day to grace day. You see that? 174 wow. meters. From one end, the goodness gate to the grace gate, 174 wow. meters. Wow. So that's actually longer than a football field. Yes, that's a three football That's three football fields. Wow. Three football fields. Then from Glory Gate to the altar gate, it's 100 meters. From Glory Gate to the altar gate, 100 meters. Oh my God. So if you walk around here, you know how many meters you have covered. Oh then the height of the building is about 43 meters. That's the height of the building. The height of the building. The height So join together. So the roof is made up of 21,000 pieces of metals for the roof. 21,000 pieces of Wow. Wow. And it is so amazing. And there are 100,000 seats in here. So yes, this is a, it has a capacity 000, of 100,000 capacity. The largest auditorium in the world. This is the largest Present. church auditorium in the world. This is the glory to glory. Guys. Dunamis International, International Gospel, Gospel Center, Center at Abuja, the Lord Garden, Nigeria. Abuja, Nigeria, Abuja, Nigeria, Airport Road, pastor by Dr. Pastor Paul and the church. Guys, you guys need to come here. I, I am having a nice time in here. Everybody is so nice. Everybody is so polite. Please, when you take your vacations, you don't need to go to the Caribbean. You don't need to go to the bar. You take your vacation, just come here and enjoy God. Everything is so authentic. Oh my goodness. Thank you. All right. Sound system. We have them at first and second color. We are not powerful enough to take care of the sound system. So the speakers over there are powerful enough to power the entire building. Yes, Technical. yes, yes. And also we have the major screen that only when you are seated you can have a view. I believe you were in service service. And yes. Can we witness how the screen is so yes. the screen is so large that everywhere you can see. Yes. So and the most amazing fact about the building is it was then designed and built by Nigerians, members of the church. Oh my So that's the most this, amazing this, this, this is Nigeria. This is to show you how skillful Nigerians are. This structure was constructed by even Nigerians. So we are going now to the second gallery. First and second gallery. The first and second gallery. And we are right here at Tunabis Gospel Center in Abuja, Nigeria. And to show you how lovely they are, they, they accepted the images of all. They are happy, we are encouraging every Christian to please um, make it a come here. Come and enjoy the presence of God, come and fellowship. We are having a nice time, the building is amazing. There's a lot of seats for everyone. And, the, um, and I mean, I honestly, I enjoy the hospitality for you. The hospitality is amazing. And, uh, I think that uh, many people 
people get to know about what's happening here yeah, and what it's not just about that the messages they're life transforming yes because yes. we came yes. to i flew in from um houston texas make sure your finger is not blocking it i flew in from 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 houston texas go this way yes. go this way so he's taking us to the gallery over here we are so blessed he's taking us to the gallery we are going to first gallery we are going to the first gallery Where is she? This is the thing we are talking about. And you said each of these videos takes a trailer of similar. Wow. So let's proceed. Let's proceed. So we have seen this. This is the we're talking about. One trailer of similar. Four hundred pounds. I'm amazed. I go far. This is the story. Nigeria Airport Federal Capital Building. Your seat is here, it's right here, it's waiting for you. Whatever part of the way you are in, I don't care if you're in America, you are in Germany, Europe, Middle East, any part of the world, Nigeria, any African country, please. You definitely want to come here. There are 100,000 seats in here. So now we are down, down with the first gallery, we're going to the second gallery. This is huge. Look at it. And the good thing about the building is that from anywhere you see, you can see the Bobby. Yes, you can see the Bobby. So, it, it, yeah, anywhere you see, you can see the Bobby. So, it doesn't matter if you're sitting on the north or the south.
welcome yes. to the main bowl yes. of the glory sanctuary the glory dome yes, and we are quite excited to bring you right into this architectural and engineering masterpiece that only jehovah god could have constructed um it is a wow i mean people have come here once they step in here it is a wow it humbles you it just lets you know that this happened without you and this happened by the hand of god alone and we are quite excited we feel highly opportune highly privileged highly helped of god to be involved in something of this magnitude and this scope right from the goodness gate the tip of the goodness gate all the way to the tip of the grace gate we have 274 meters 274 meters is literally about three football fields if we see a football field as 90 meters football fields and yes Two, two football fees and half because 90 and 90 is 180. Two football fees and half, two, 274 meters, almost three football fees. Without any pillar holding nothing, without any column holding nothing, at the center here we have almost 42 to 43 meters in height. It's like, in, like 12, 13 story buildings at the center here with nothing holding nothing. You look up, you see a metal. Uh, like uh, a weave, a, a, a basket weave, you know, uh, and these are called spiders, they, each of them. They are, they, are, they are joined end to end. You have over 21,000 pieces of these of this metals. They look tiny like matchstick up there now, but once they, they are standing beside you, once, once on the ground, they are taller than you, than a person. Each, each, one. each one of them. Over 21,000 of them knitted end to end by thousands of artisans up there in the days of the construction they look like ants people kept looking from the highway and wondering what's going on here what is happening up there it was a sight to behold and we say to god alone be all the praise and all the glory and all the honor for this that he has done in our days in our time in our eyes and with our uh, <coughs> What, what do I call it now? Observation. Privileged, Privileged observation. observation. <laughs> we're, we're standing by and watching I'm him. Watching God and then he was just walking. Every day we come to the site and we're like, wow. Mm. Sometimes we felt that there were angels that used to come and walk overnight. And construct overnight. <laughs> and then millions being spent. Millions upon millions of naira of being spent without you knowing how. You did no sleepless night. No, nothing. No stress. No pressure. No tension. <laughs> Faithful God. You look at this, um, can you look at this, this cantilevered stanchions here? Each one of them takes one, took one trailer of cement. That's right. That one, one, one of those arms like that. One of the arms. One of those arms like that. can imagine that the uh, huge... One of those arms like that. How many were they that went so down many. to the foundation of the so earth? So many. Just principalities, yeah. Down to the foundation of the earth and then with... We know all the names. Raft Foundation. Oh. <laughs> I turned to an engineer and she became an architect, became architect. in the cross course of this construction. This so interesting. So Exciting let's guy. walk through the sanctuary and then um, we'll go all the way. Shout to the Lord. Hello everyone. God bless you all. Good morning. Uh, today we are at uh, the Lord's Garden and we'll be going through the garden. This is the Lord's Garden, right? Yes, yes. It's the Lord's Garden. Okay. So we are, we are right Rose here at of Sharon. The, Ro the Rose of Sharon Garden. Okay. We are right here at Dunamis Gospel Center, Abuja, Nigeria, located right at the airport road. And we'll be going through the Rose of Sharon Garden. garden. The Rose of Sharon Garden. Alright. Follow me.
you guys hear that? This is called the Still Waters Restaurant. Or Still Waters Restaurant here. The plan is that by the time this place is completed, when you're walking in here, you feel like you are in the Maldives or in the Caribbean. Because you'll be going into the building and there'll be water on your left, on your right, and it will just be like a floating building. And if you show them, if you look under the building, come on, go, go in. Look, if you look under the building, there's water already under. That is. Yes, if you look under, there's water already under. But by the time the building is completed, you will, you will get you will get to see more. So you have water on the right, on the left, and it's going to be much more very, very beautiful. That's a still water restaurant. And when it gets active, then the food and all that. Really and those beautiful. chairs and canopies that are part is for events. Okay. In case of any birthday, or wedding reception, Christmas, 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 and understand. You can come here for meeting, wow. church gathering, church and other meetings. Okay. Meeting. You okay. can come here and relax. So it also serves like an like an event center, you know. Yes. It also serves like an event center. So um, once more, if you just take a uh, three hundred and sixty degree view, like that, yeah. Show them around once more. Good. Sorry. Yeah. So they can see and look at the beautiful structure of the lion over here. I guess you should be seeing the lion of the tribe of Judah. Yes. And then it goes all the way down, and then we are here at the Still Waters Restaurant. guys we just finished the tour of the rose of sharon's garden here in abuja nigeria and that's the first garden now we are going to the second garden once more we've been all over from my left and we have been to my right to the still waters restaurant and i'll be showing you guys more on the second garden as we make our tour i hope you are enjoying it so far please subscribe to my channel feel free to ask questions comment and i'll bring you guys more information about my visit to dunamis gospel center in abuja nigeria and once more this is the garden the rose of sharon's garden i'll bring you guys more video thank you and peace out okay by the special grace of god we just finished garden one and we are right here at garden two so i'll be showing you guys around garden two still at the lord's garden of dunamis gospel center in abuja nigeria Okay, if you look at this, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a love symbol. I guess that would signify the love of Christ, how Jesus loves us, you know. Here yeah, at Dunami, it's when you give your life to Christ, they have well, this foundation class. After you're done with your foundation class, the next step is water baptism. And then uh, this uh, is where the baptism usually takes place. And you know, very nice to have it in there. And we have all this. Make sure you don't put it in You see? So you come in here, you have your own. Look at that. Look at 
at all the birds. I feel like I'm in the Caribbean. Don't call me. I feel like I'm in and so nice we are at garden 2 at the rose of sharon's garden here in abuja nigeria you can look at that and then let's continue now and look at look at that how beautiful it is over there okay By the grace of God, that's the glory dome over there that we uh, were able to show uh, you guys earlier. And now we are done. Hello, everyone. By the special grace of God, thank you so much for the time we spent. But we just, uh, I am just done showing you guys what it is or how it feels like to be at the glory dome and the Rose of Sharon's Garden. So I'm done with showing you guys about the Rose, Rose of Sharon's Garden. Uh, we had Garden 1 and Garden 2. And I really had a very nice time over here by the grace of God. Um, it's a very peaceful place, it's worth visiting. We en I encourage everybody to make a visit here and just come in here, relax, come and pray, and come and have a nice time in the presence of God. Everyone in here is very nice, polite, professional, and willing to help you know, at every time. So, um, once more, I hope you guys enjoyed the brief tour that we had, or I just showed you. Um, Thank you so much and God bless you so much. I'm having a nice time at Tudamis and talk to you guys later. Peace out.